Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So sorry I'm talking in a bit of a hushed tone. I do have some family sleeping in the other room and they're probably already annoyed by me talking this early in the morning. The last thing I need is for them to be even more upset. So today we're talking about, as you can probably guess by looking at the screen, Cyril. Cyril is an interesting unit, to say the least. <laughs> so these are Cyril's stats if you recruit him in chapter uh, in chapter 5. Uh, as he becomes level 9 and he has like decent strength, decent dex, decent speed and stuff like that, but overall that's pretty lackluster. Now, he may seem like a kind of cruddy unit to be honest, but my goal here today is to share with you that honestly he's not that bad and to help and how you can make him really really good. Before we go any further, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we're getting really close to 10,000 subs, and I really appreciate all the, the love and support we already have. Uh, but if you aren't subbed, please do. Alright. So, Cyril, again, is interesting. Not because of his stats, not because of his bad personal skill, which makes each stat 20% more likely to increase on level up. Ugh, so bad. Uh, but because of his special uh, arts that he learns and because of his uh, proficiencies he comes with comes with a C plus in axes and a C in bows very easily uh, workable things now I will say you want to recruit Cyril as early as possible uh, he does not change class. As you can see, he's still a commoner even though he's above level 5. Every other unit will have a different class after uh, going above level 5 uh, while they auto level. Now, the reason this is bad is because Cyril doesn't get to take advantage of the growth rates from any other classes while auto leveling. Uh, and because that's not, it's not like an automatic, it's like an automatic thing, I believe. I believe it just takes like averages over time. So meaning his stats are just no matter what are going to be lower than if he were to have a, uh, a class the class modifiers of something else but commoner just doesn't have any modifiers it's just bad so even though he does have aptitude it doesn't help that much because even with aptitude which we'll talk about in a minute his growth rates are still bad and by bad like i shouldn't say they're bad they're like average all right so that's cyril when you first get him honestly not that impressive he's actually pretty bad Talk about Cyril here um, after you get him. So we looked at his base stats at level nine. That's if you recruit him in chapter five, which I think is pretty reasonable. It just requires a level 10 bio. All right, so here are Cyril's growth rates. You add 20 to all of these and that's what you get. You add 20 to all of these because uh, of aptitude. So his defense and res are horrible. Um, his speed is actually pretty good. His strength is like passable. His magic is passable um, Which his magic doesn't really matter uh, His charm is like passable. That's the thing a lot of his a lot of his uh, With aptitude a lot of his stuff is like, okay uh, And so like some of it is it's like 60 speed and 55 HP are great But everything else is pretty lackluster or just average so statistically, he ch chances are it's like there's always a chance he could get every stat up, every single level up. But statistically speaking, he is weaker than many other units in the game through that. But Cyril has a few things that make him really special uh, beyond uh, his stats, and those are his dependent uh, uh, combat arts. So these are combat arts that not, not everybody learns. And he learns two of the best in the game. Vengeance. Oh, that's C plus lances. So really easy to get really fast. He will end up uh, just, you can just wreck house with vengeance. So vengeance just takes the damage that you've received. So it's basically your max HP minus your current HP and they add that, that amount of damage to your, your uh, attack. So if you line it up right, and Cyril has a 55% HP growth of aptitude, which is pretty good. Uh, in the end, he'll probably be doing, uh, have a, a pretty big HP bar to mess around with, and a uh, really good vengeance. It could really just destroy some units. Really destroy some enemies and bosses, like even like Death Knight and stuff. It's, it's really good stuff. 
And then the other one that he has that's really good is Point Blank Volley. At C plus, no one no one else learns it that early. C plus is really good, especially considering he comes in chapter again. If you recruit him in chapter five, he comes with C bows, so he is just one rank away from Point Blank Volley. Point Blank Volley is a brave attack, meaning it attacks twice in a row, uh, no matter what, no matter the speed of your unit or the enemy unit or anything. You just get two quick attacks in succession, and they are really strong. The only downside is it has to be done at uh, close range, so you have to do it adjacent to an enemy. But honestly, they should be dead after a point blank volley, unless you're playing like Maddening or something. Uh, then I guess you have to be a little more careful, but still make it work. So he has really good dependent arts. His dependent abilities are kind of bad. The only special thing he learns is from Authority, and it's Battalion Desperation, which is honestly kind of bad. Alright, so with those in mind, with Vengeance and Point Blank Volley in mind, uh, let's talk about what class lines should maybe want to consider throwing our friend Cyril through. Uh, and we'll do that by looking at stat boosts. So he starts off as a commoner, we know that. It's kind of whatever. Uh, and then from there, if you do want to throw him into a beginner class, which you might as well because he's level 9, uh, throw him into fighter, I would say. I mean, he already can go in that, but he also he appreciates the plus one strength from it. And also, a plus two strength skill will be a good thing to have early on. Uh, when you don't have other things to replace it, it'll work well with point blank volley. So I would suggest going fighter. And then for his intermediate class, I would suggest brigand for death blow. Or, and or... Archer for hit plus 20 if you're especially if you're playing on maddening. I'd probably say archer for hit plus 20 but brigand for death blow uh, You know it's adding six damage to an attack on player phase is great But adding six damage to two attacks on player phase is even better, which you can do with um, Point blank volley so if brigand works like mastering brigand works really well with point blank volley Mastering archer just makes you more reliable. You'll hit more often uh, and you know there are people that will say, oh, you could do armored knight. He does come with an axe rank already, so it's not that hard to get. Um, but other than that, I would say like, my picks are master brigand uh, and potentially master archer if you want to go that route for the extra hit. Uh, but definitely master brigand, and I like the plus two strength from brigand for sure, as far as the gameplay goes. All right, and then into his advanced class once he reaches level twenty or beyond. Uh, I don't see any reason to put him to anything besides like warrior or sniper. So sniper for hunter's volley is great. It, it, would, it would supplant the need to have him equipped with uh, point blank volley, B but they are both they're both useful in their own right. And honestly, because he has point blank volley, I would suggest actually moving off of sniper once he hits level 30 if you're going that route and get him to bow knight. Most archers I would suggest staying as a sniper just for point just for hunter's volley. But because he does have point blank volley that kind of uh, does the same thing except up close and with the higher movement of bow knight, I really like that. So yeah, bow knight is dope. Uh, for Cyril. Okay. That is if you're going like really focusing on point blank volley which is a great thing and you can still even use vengeance if you're working with point blank volley uh, as an archer and stuff you can still keep a lance on him if you ever have the opportunity to use a really strong vengeance it can work great but let's assume you want to make the absolute most of vengeance on Cyril. here's what you're going to do do fighter again just because he's he's going to have the proficiencies for it so it's really easy to do just do it get the plus one strength and work from there I would still go through the brigand, cl brigand, cl brigand class line, oh, I'll say that 10 times fast, uh, for death blow. Or again, if you're feeling froggy and you want the, the hit plus 20, go through archer or both if you have time. Then once you hit advance, you want to, you want to stick with paladin. For our, for our main man Cyril, for lance fair. Decent movement plus lance fair. I really like that uh, for 
for him. And especially Kanto with Vengeance can be interesting if you could uh, Vengeance one enemy on player phase with when you have really low HP, just destroy him, mess him up, and then run away to safety and get healed by a healer in the back line if you want. Something along those lines. I really like that. So yeah, Paladin I think is a great choice for uh, for that. Now, I wouldn't even bother going into a master class at that point if you really want to run uh, Lance Fair and uh, Vengeance and stuff like that. I wouldn't even worry about going into a master class. Uh, but if you wanted to or you felt like you had to for some reason, I would suggest Wyvern Lord. <laughs> even though it doesn't have Lance Fair. I mean, it's just better. If you're dying to have Lance Fair and a master class for some reason, I guess Great Knight's fine. Uh, but overall, he'll be better off just staying a paladin, in my opinion. Anyways, those are my thoughts, friends. It's, it's just a simple thing. I, I I really did this video because I saw someone point out that Cyril is bad. In yesterday's video, we're talking about why everyone why why does everyone keep hating on Cyril? And I hate on Cyril because I I, I still don't think he's a very good unit because there's other units that can do what he does with less investment and just easier. But that doesn't mean he's bad. There's not a single unit in Fire Emblem Three Houses that is bad or unusable. There's no like straight up joke characters like there are in other games. So if Cyril is one of your favorite characters, good for you. Use them, have fun. But and, and don't let other people who are upset about it, or don't let other, not upset about it, but don't let other people who don't like him make you upset, make you not use him for some reason. It's a single player game. Just have fun, play the way you want to. So yeah, I hope I opened your eyes a little bit, guys. I mean, other people have already talked about Cyril before and how he's actually not that bad. So I hope y'all realize that. <laughs> uh, but thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 10,000 subs again. So please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and like this video if you wouldn't mind. It helps other people find the channel, helps our community grow, uh, so we can have a more more interesting, diverse uh, conversations in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, friends.